you know, what does ASMR stand for? They don't probably realize because it's just people with their clothes off licking ears. So, um, yeah, so it's got this like weird undertone to it now that's occurred. And it can't shake that now. That's like part of its tarnish, isn't it? Uh, we've got the, the game, uh, the the game uh, Mud Runner. It's old. It's a driving game, and basically, it's, you just drive trucks around and deliver wood. So uh, I thought it's a nice bedtimey sort of. There's another guy on the internet called Limmy, Scottish streamer, and uh, it's that sort of thing. It's not exactly ASMR. I don't believe that playing computer games and talking softly really is ASMR. Really, I mean, people might get an ASMR T from it, an ASMR trigger response, ASMR TR. They might get something from it, but I don't know if I can perform ASMR whilst controlling a computer game. Play, you know, I don't know if it is the same thing, but um, ASMR ish, ASMR ish mud runner because just casually driving around the wilds, delivering the wood, trying to speak quietly and not get all chuffed about and not get stuck in the chuffing mud. So and the engine, yeah, the engine goes chug 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 chug. So got that. I, I need to do the, the sound balance. Playing games while talking softly, right? Yeah, it, it is ASMR, really. Yeah. So, but this is the thing, right? It is ASMR. It's like uh, maybe unintentional is the right phrase. Unintentional ASMR, where as a performer, it's very difficult, in my opinion. Some people might be better at it naturally. Uh, their persona, like Laura Lemieux's persona gives me ASMR even when she's not trying to but like in order to you know deliberately behave a certain way to induce ASMR better to perform in that way I believe as an artist and also be doing the computer game and running the stream and you know donations and things like that I don't think that correlates I just don't think it works together I think if you're you know it's like trying to be a um, it's like a gentle music that you produce when you're doing ASMR properly, I, I I believe you know it's like a performance in that way, isn't it? So I, I I'm not sure it's connected to to gaming. You can definitely get ASMR from it though, like unintentionally. And then there's the uh, the other aspect as well, isn't there? That's going on at the moment. That's really I'm surprised by it. But ASMR's always had that sexual undertone where people are doing sex things, but calling it ASMR, like licking your ears. And like, I don't know, maybe some people are getting ASMR tingles, you know, warm feelings from having their ears licked, or maybe it's a sensual response, like not sense, senses, but sensual, you know? Um, maybe it's neither, I don't know. But to me, when I click ASMR on Twitch now, and look at, this, I always thought Twitch was great for stuff, but this one thing seems to be going out of control a little bit is that when I click ASMR on Twitch, I don't see anyone doing ASMR. I just see all people with their clothes off licking your ears and yeah, I've got the microphone. Yeah, I've got your, These are my top people. You love me doing it. So uh, I can't get tingles from that myself. It doesn't, it's not gentle tapping. It's not like, you know, we've already talked about the tapping phenomenon as well, the mad tappers and the, the people who understand how to tap as if it's, you know, the art of tapping which is not to tap fast or aggressive, but maybe it is for some people again. But this is beyond that. This is like, you know, just if you want to do softcore porn on Twitch, you need a category to go under. And it was hot tubs, but now they didn't like hot tubs. It changed. It's ASMR. They just, ASMR is synonymous now with, like, I don't think people, maybe people do realise it. I don't know, but the, the word, they don't even... You know, what does ASMR stand for? They don't probably realise because it's just people with their clothes off licking ears. So, um, yeah, so it's got this like weird undertone to it now that's occurred. And it can't shake that now. That's like part of its tarnish, isn't it? Like when you say to someone, I remember a time when if you say to someone, I've got an ASMR channel, they say, I don't even know what that is. What's that? And then the time, this is me just chatting now at the end of the broadcast, so I just enjoy it. Uh, then the time happened and came and went where the media popularized it for the mainstream so people came up to me and said oh you got an ASMR channel haven't you I saw that on the telly or I heard about them talking about it on the telly or on the podcast or on the thing and like are you still doing that and I'm like well not really that was five years ago but you know glad that you caught on and then it, we've gone beyond that now where the people have been like oh I can use ASMR for my own device I can use it like 
for uh you know i want to do softcore porn on on the internet like titillation i can use it to as a medium of titillation and get away with it because like for some reason i don't know there's no you know i'm not the police the, the culture police am i like if you want to label your game as like we're going to be playing mud runner this week like i said if i want to label mud runner as Fortnite and be the only person on mud runner that has got Fortnite written at the bottom I can be if I want to play you know I could be on the Fortnite list and mislabel myself and be playing Mudrunner can't I that can happen and the people aren't going to be like boot him off Twitch get him out of there he's labelled his video wrong he should be in the other category oh talking of that today we're in podcasts category normally we're just chatting but today I elevated us to podcasts I wondered if it would make a difference I'll find out never um but uh, yeah, like you can call things whatever you want to call them, can't you? They can be called whatever they, you know. But I, what my, I suppose my concern is that the mainstream ends up being the nom. There's a word for it, nom nom culture, nom nomin culture or something. Uh, they end up being the people that name things and decide on the definitions. So even if it's plums, it, it can be an apple, and they can say it's plums. And, and it'd be like, no, but it's an apple. And you'd be like, no, well, in our, we're, we're calling it plums. It's plums. And uh, I'm going to grab you by the plums and you're going to have to like it. And I'll be like, oh, that's not my apple. Um, and they'd be like, it's your plums. So like, it, it, this naming thing, what I guess will happen is that we've gone beyond, like I said, people say in the pub now, do you do ASMR? Have you got that channel? Is it just whispering? What's that about? Now it, it's become... ASMR, do you do that? Uh, are you a prostitute? Are you like a sex worker on the internet? Like, not, I'm not dissing sex workers. Uh, you can't these days. It's not um, not politically correct. But even beyond that, I think people get themselves into situations. I don't think every... I think it's a really... I mean, this is dangerous territory, but, you know, broad spectrum. Yeah, you can't diss a person for being a sex worker on Chatterbait on the internet, you know, healthy and all that. But in the same spectrum, there are people that are on drugs being bashed about by pimps. So, you know, there are things that aren't so good here and aren't so healthy to be projecting. You know, and it's, it's the same with um, uh, diet and, uh, you know, talking about levels of obesity versus body image positivity. And, you know, there's there's some ideas that don't quite go together in some ways. You know, I'm not not saying anything aggressive. I'm, I'm a very liberal person, a very you know open-minded person, and I think if someone wants to do something, that's cool. But at the same time, if there are reasons they're doing it they're not understanding or pressures that they're having to live up to that you know, drivers, causes, maybe they might not want to do some of these things. You know, maybe if you gave everyone $1,000 a week to spend as they wished, maybe they wouldn't choose to do sex work. Maybe they would. So, you know, I don't know. But, um, yeah, you know, this, this this whole world of it. So the ASMR, bringing this back, is now sex work. <laughs> well, it is on Twitch, at least. Like, if you're a young person coming to Twitch, you don't know what ASMR is, you click on the category, that's what it is. And then you go and say, you know, should I watch Scott's ASMR videos? Well, he's got a pornographer. Do you know what I mean? That's that's now the um, the thought process. And it's so, like you said about this soft sexuality, this soft sexuality in um, sexualized material. It's being picked up on and marketed by the marketing teams, by the logarithms in that way, because that, that sells. You know, the, the big ASMR artists of the next three to five years are going to be the ear lickers and the, you know, lolly suckers because it sells. You know, it's going to, if that's the way that market is being shaped, those people are going to come to the fore of the market, aren't they? The top, top people. And even the people that don't really want to do that might even start doing a bit of it. And the people that didn't ever do that and are doing the real ASMR, it's going to be a bit sad for them, isn't it? Because people are going to come up to them in the supermarket and say, do you lick lollies? <laughs> and they're going to be like, no, it's not like that. And they're going to be like, oh, yeah, 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 go on then, yeah, isn't it? In the same way as you could say lap dancing and pole dancing. You know, pole dancing can be done as an art, can't it? And, yeah, oh, you know, I'm a pole dancer. still isn't going to come across as I'm an artist. It's just one of those things now. Hey-ho, that's culture.